In this video, I'll show you really quickly how I get data out of my Airbnb and VRBO listings synced into a Google Sheet or an Airtable base. And the way this works is you have your property, it's listed on some platforms. And for me, the key is that I use host tools, which is for automatic messaging and that kind of thing, a tool for short-term rentals. It gives you the power to set up a webhook endpoint, so it'll automatically pass data out of host tools to wherever you want it, whenever uh, new bookings come in, new confirmations, when checkouts happen, that kind of thing. And we'll pass that into a general automation tool like Trey or Retool or Zapier. And from there, it makes it really easy to map that into Sheets, Airtable, Slack, et cetera. And so I'm doing this for accounting. I need to quickly be able to see all of the bookings and be able to share them with my wife or whoever else. It can also be used for coordinating with cleaners or project managers, that kind of thing. So the way this is going to work is we webhook the data out from, from host tools. You can send it directly to Airtable, but that comes with some issues. Then it's tray IO or retool. And so let's just take a look at these and see how they work. So whenever you have host tools set up, you can set up a message rule that will send via webhook the data and things like booking confirmations, check-in, checkouts, etc. And when you do that, you can insert tags that pull the data from your listing or from the booking rather. So names, phone numbers, dates, number of nights, number of guests, et cetera. And so I'm just passing all of this in uh, as comma separated values. And then when I do that, let's see this, that data comes in and it automatically passes into an Airtable base based on the headings, but also into my uh, Google sheet. And so the way this works, let's first just look at how I'm doing it in tray IO, which is an automation tool and Tray lets you really quickly set up webhook endpoints that you can then go and take the URL and put it in host tools. And when host tools gets that data, it'll pass it over here and quickly do some data parsing with like splitting the string based on the commas. And then we can write that data into individual rows in Airtable based on the headings. And then the same thing in Google Sheets. And so as these new bookings come in, they'll run a little workflow here and you'll be able to go back and see which data was passed in. And so this is pretty cool. It also opens up all sorts of possibilities for connecting to other types of services like Gmail or, you know, Twilio for messaging or storing data on the cloud or say sending messages over a Slack channel, that kind of thing. You can also do this in Retool with a new workflows product they've set up. You just set up a start trigger with a webhook and that'll give you a URL. And then you can pass that data into, say, a Google Sheet. You can really pass it in anywhere, save it in a database, whatever you like. But I like Google Sheets because it's simple and easy. I didn't go too far down the road with this because that's a little bit more technical. Lastly, you can also go directly into your Airtable and set up an automation, which will give you a webhook endpoint as well. And then you can have that create new records. It's a little bit more cumbersome because you need to do some more parsing. So then on the front end, in your Airtable base, you have to find some way of uh, parsing out the comma separated values. So there's some ways you can do that. You can look up this post if you want. So really that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment field below. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.